Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up a Cisco Catalyst 2960S switch. And um, it's a managed switch, but it's perfect for the um, home. The price has gone really down. And um, it's simple to set up, so let's get started. We'll just power it on first. This hasn't got any configuration in it. So, and it'll take a while to power on, so I'll speed it up. Um, and it doesn't have a switch either, so I have to power it on with the thing. Start her up. Okay, it um, stopped, it's finished booting. So that took about three and a half minutes. I just thought I'd show you that so you know it's it's come to it the end of the, the boot when the um, three LED lights here, the um, system, master and stat lights are on. That means it's finished booting. And now we'll put it in the... Um, Express setup mode. Just press the mode button until they all light up. They all light up except the um, um, the RPS button uh, light. That probably won't light up. But now you're in Express setup mode. Okay, before we can um, plug the PC into the switch we've got to set up the network on the PC just um, temporarily so I can communicate with the switch change the adapter settings properties for and just obtain an IP address automatically because the switch will give us a, a um, IP address on its network And now we can plug it in. Okay, so now you've got your PC set up properly. You just plug your Cat6 cable into any port on this thing. And it'll communicate with it and we can um, get into the configuration. Okay, now we get into the configuration, which on um, Cisco switches is a 10.0.0.1, and the default username is blank, not password Cisco, that's just the factory default. Of course, we want to change all that now. Now it's talking to the uh, switch. And we can start configuring it. So, IP, you want to have it on your network. So, whatever your network is, if you, something like um, uh, one, six, eight, one, I call it 11, and gateways your router, and you just want your password, and usually your management port's the same, I mean we're only doing a simple Hang on. All right. I'm going to call it Cisco 2 Cisco 
there in two. And pretty important, you want to be able to tilt that to it um, if you want to muck around the configurations later on. You don't have to. And you submit that. And once I submit it, obviously the 10, 0, 0, 1 isn't going to be valid, so it will see. It'll go somewhere. Oh, it won't be up anymore, so I'll just go OK. And you can read all that stuff. And that's it. Your, um, your switch has been configured. So now we'll go we'll change it back to our PC back to the original network settings. Okay. Okay, now you've got it all set up, you can start plugging in all your gear. Let's go for it. You've got 48 ports. And of course, um, you want to plug in your router somewhere where it's kind of noticeable. I usually put it down there. There you go, beautiful. So there you have it, the um, Cisco 2960 series. Um, this is an S model, but most of the switches you do the same sort of um, configuration on them. The only downside to them is they're quite noisy. Uh -huh. And also they, um, they suck a fair bit of juice. That will go up to 30 at idle once, it, once it's booted. But if you, if you think about 48 ports, it's a pretty good deal. I mean, they're not un under any um, load, so you have to weigh that up. And you can fix the fan by this one I modified and put a uh, 120 millimeter at the top. Makes practically no sound at all. Anyway, hope that's been helpful, and I'll catch you later. Bye now.